This is a day in the life of a probationary firefighter at the Hope Jackson Fire Company. This probationary firefighter arrived on time for his shift and parked across the street in the designated parking area. This member arrives prepared with a notebook, pen, study material, a change of uniform clothes, workout equipment, bedding and sleepwear if staying the night, and a positive attitude ready to be challenged and to learn. Appropriate uniform is worn, black boots or shoes, navy blue pants or shorts, uniform t-shirt or polo. This member is clean shaven and presents his or herself as a professional. This member enters through the front door by ringing the doorbell and greets the on-duty crew as well as checks in with the on-duty officer. By doing so, this member will get any updates he or she needs to know as well as tasks that need to get done around the firehouse and trainings and drills going on throughout the day. If COVID-19 guidelines are still in effect, this member will take their temperature and sign in with the temperature log. They will also track their hours they are spending at the firehouse located in their probationary firefighter packet. Immediately after signing in, this member should check all their PPE or personal protective equipment. This includes helmet, jacket, pants, boots, structural firefighting gloves, and hood. This equipment should always be in a state of operational readiness. All issued equipment is department property. Any missing or damaged equipment needs to be immediately reported to an officer. After checking your personal protective equipment, it's time to check the fire apparatus. Members should be familiar with not only where the equipment is located on the apparatus, but its purpose and how it operates. Testing the equipment readily ensures it's operational and builds muscle memory in the safe operation of the tool. Equipment you notice damaged or not operating normally should be immediately reported up the chain of command to a fire officer. If you're unfamiliar with a piece of equipment, take initiative and ask another firefighter to show you how to operate the tool. Ensure tools and equipment are properly stowed back in the same place it was found. When closing compartment doors, challenge the latching mechanism, ensuring it has positive retention. If miss, compartment doors can open unexpectedly when the apparatus is in motion. Once checks are complete, ensure a fresh pot of coffee is available. It is a firehouse culture to have coffee for its members from early in the morning to late at night. Ask senior members if they'd like a coffee and always offer coffee to guests. Coffee supplies can be found in the cabinet underneath the coffee pot. Station chores take place daily. These include emptying the trash, cleaning dishes, sweeping the floors in the apparatus bay, mopping the floors, vacuuming the rugs, and cleaning the bathroom and toilets. Cleaning supplies can be found on the shelving in both bathrooms. While cleaning daily can be repetitive, it promotes a sense of firehouse pride. It also shows maturity and professionalism. If we can't trust you with something as mundane as taking out the trash, how can we trust you on the fire ground? After daily chores are done, check the committee work schedule located throughout the firehouse for additional daily tasks that are completed once a week. With the firehouse tidied up, it's time to drill. Today, this member drilled on his PPE. It is important to be familiar with correct donning and doffing procedures. You should make this a daily occurrence in your first few months. Incorrectly wearing your PPE can result in serious injury or death. Often, the duty officer will conduct scheduled or impromptu trainings. It is the expectation that you participate in these drills. If time permits and all of the tasks are complete, probationary members can use the gym to work on their cardiovascular endurance and strength training. Firefighting requires high levels of fitness, and your brothers and sisters and the community are relying on you to perform. Exercising often will increase how you perform and decrease chance of injury.